A dog. I said, I heard some songs I never heard before. Of course, it was the inner tribe. Was there a lot of people there? Uh, the, that event building was almost full. Wow. It was the war mothers, so I will war mothers. Valentine's kind of. <clears throat> the membership looked pretty nice. I counted over 20. Did Grandma D log off? Yeah, I don't see her anymore. I know she was uh, having trouble with her audio. It must it must have kicked her off or something. Maybe she lost connection. We'll see if she, oh, there she is. She's logging back in. Any more news from the outer world? I'll be in the living room. Uh oh. Grandma D, um, your uh, your audio is cutting in and out. I don't know how what. Who's connecting, Melody? Um, let's see. And so far, it's you, Grandma D, Miss Marion, and Alice Ann. Oh, and there's Courtney, too. Let me let Courtney in the room. I went in the kitchen. I said, did Super Bowl start? <laughs> I got some <laughs> mean looks. It's Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even know how to pronounce it <laughs> hi courtney on day on day and boom oh no i don't oh so i think uh Grandma melody i saw her show no last night you did where did mm -hmm. you see her? At the um, princess dance for the in Shawnee. Oh, cool. That's awesome. Yeah, she said she was going to go to a dance last night. So that's mm -hmm. cool. It was so good to see her. She said she seems really good. I was happy. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. It was it was good. She's having a lot of a lot of fun this semester. So that's, good switched majors I think she's happier with her classes <laughs> I could tell she's a she seems very uh, happy that's so cool awesome um let's see so I think grandma D's audio is cutting in and out um so I just wanted to see what uh what everyone wants to do for today do you want me to uh, pull up a recording? Um, we could continue to try to translate the Kiowa Proverbs recording 
I think we started it in December and we only got through um, Mr. Toybo's, uh, I think the first eight minutes, his speech. So we, we did that one, but there's still several, several more speakers after that. So we could, we could listen to that and see what we can do. I don't know if we'll be able to hear. I know we can hear Miss Marion and Grandma Dorothy, but I don't know about Grandma D's audio. We could try. What do y'all think? All right. Sounds well, good. I like okay. that. All right. Well, let's give it a try then. See what we can do here. Um, all right. So we'll. Uh, We'll use the opening prayer on the Kiowa Proverbs recording for our opening prayer for today. So let me um, let me open it and let me share my screen. Okay, all right. So we'll we'll listen to the opening prayer, which I think is uh, I have it in my notes. Guy Tampy, and then. Um, and then we'll go, we'll skip over Mr. Toybo, and then we'll start at eight minutes into it for the next speaker and see if we can uh, try to translate. So, all right. Any questions, comments? All righty. Uh, where am I at here? Share sound. Okay. Ah, uh, cool. Tell me, um, I'm going to play this and tell me if you can hear it. The Kiowa Culture Program on this date of January 23rd, 1980. Can you hear it? I can. Okay. Yes. Awesome. All uh, right. Well, we'll listen to the, we'll have the opening prayer and the, I think it's, I think it's Guy Tampi. And then after the prayer, we'll uh, see if anyone has any comments and then we'll go to the uh, speaker after Mr. Toybo. All right. On call. Those that are present here today is Lloyd Toybo, Jasper Sankadori, Yale Spotted Bird. Guy Tainpey, Hazel Boton, Esther Topa, Margaret Denko, Isabel Two Hatchet. And the two that are not with us today are are in the hospitals and we we've been thinking about them, we've been praying for them. We hope to see them soon well and and uh, working with us again. At this time, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask uh, my my brother Guy, Guy Tainpey, to give us the invocation again before we start our session. Ah, cold, dark, Ki 
Aja on te keha, no joko ei kiekko. Tei hoit kiekko, on kuin katon, että se on te joke, no. Ei se ole koi, kun on kaikki ja on se oikea pelto päivä. Se on te kiekko, lähtsähän tämä on. Pää koudon ja lähtee hautoon, kun lähtsähän tämä kiipoa. Ei kauhaa, ei tämän saa teet päivä päivä, kun te se on se oikea. Okay. Would anyone like to comment on the opening prayer? He sure using some beautiful Kiowa. Like he likes to mention Sot de Kiaigo. The people that are just now born. The young ones is how he described them. they is new. Iaga is the ones growing up. That was a, a word that we used quite a bit in the old days by our elders. And he prayed for the people there that were cope dog. Or the people that were ill. Cope dog. Or And yant koba, that is super old. I heard it, but the way he said it is yant koba. It went in my ear. The words. Your ta is your ta de. Yant is me. Koba means it went in my it went in my ear. And then he prayed for the Gitai Dogo. He prayed for the white people, the white race, as well as us. How beautiful. He's really descriptive in his prayers. It would be an opportunity to pick up old Kiowa. It's not old Kiowa, it's the original Kiowa. Oh, what a lesson. Every time I hear him, I think his Indian name was Yi Thaisa Crosses. 
It was either his name or his son, Luke Tenpi, who was killed in World War II. No, in Korea, um, in the war. And uh, Yi Tai So, his name was uh, Two Cross. Interesting. I wrote these down if you want to keep them, Melody. Oh, um, I was trying to write them down as you were talking. Did you say the yunt akoba? It went in my yeah. ear. Oh, it's your tall. It's your ear <laughs> all day. <laughs> your tall bean. What about tall bean? <laughs> Big ears. <laughs> but no, he said you. Yeah, talk go by. He's really researched in detail about hearing something mm -hmm. accurately. It went right in my ear. The news. Yeah. Oh. I just love to hear them. They talk such good, fluent Kiowa, old Kiowa. And that's my trouble in this world. I get contradicted too much because I grew up with the old, my folks talking that. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that. good that we can, uh, we can hear it and then that um, you can explain it to us. <laughs> it helps. I <Ahoy>. hope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, any other comments on the opening prayer? I think he could be listed as one of the masters that all uh, the prayers, this whole role of people. Oh, yeah, it's awesome hearing them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So, it's it, it's a prayer that, like uh, Dorothy said, it has a lot of uh, good words in there that we hardly hear anymore. Mostly, we never hear any, anymore. Mm -hmm. And to me, this is a word lesson and just this prayer with the words, and it would be good to you know hear it again. I guess you're going to share it. With this, whatever after after this, but um, he would, but he was, you know, going so fast and has so many descriptive words that I couldn't keep up with um, each word <laughs> in in Kiowa to note them. But I know that he was praying. He was saying that the. El Elders prayed this way each day after he started, when he first started, when he said his greetings, and he's glad that we uh, see another day. And um, he said they're learning the words, and they must have just, when they kept hot, they just woke up to realize that we're yeah. losing yeah. this. I got um, that word, I forgot it. How? Uh -huh. And he was thinking how it will be. I think he's thinking about the future and he's praying uh, today. And you know, he's, but he says, All the kind was, and then I lost it. I got, I was thinking about what he was saying. And, uh, but of course, all the kind was, you know, they're very active and they're busy workers. And then he talked about the new, the new ones, which the new board. He talked about the people in the hospital, relatives, <clears throat> brothers and sisters. And he says, and my heart, you know, is like he's in his prayers, he's praying for them. <clears throat> and um, he's just in his prayer, he's questioning what will the future be? And praying yeah. for good things. And then, but I did want to get the words, but that's where I was trying to listen to both, writing, you know, take, remember in English, and, but the, 
Well, anyway, there's quite a few good descriptive words, entire, and almost entirely through the prayer. <clears throat> oh, do like uh, Dorothy was saying, these are the words. These are the words that we heard when we were uh, children, because now the younger ones don't have the elders like we did, and our grandpa and all of our, all of those are relatives. You know, they spoke Kiowa just the same as people speak English today, and for that reason. We knew what they were talking about. And, well, I'll just stop there. Oh, that's helpful. Well, uh, <laughs> and his, uh, Kai, his Kiowa name uh, in English, uh, his, uh, I'm, I'm talking about Tenpe. Two Cross was the, the formal name for that family, but Tainfi is heart eater. You know, mm -hmm. I know, I know yeah. y'all have read about that. Tain is your heart and Fi is to eat a heart. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why, I think it had a war meaning, a famous meaning or something. Someone no. was so great. You want it, you've read books. Oh, it comes from way back. It's, yep. Ten feet. It's an old, old name. It's an old name. <clears throat> Supposedly, back in the day, that's what some of the warriors did. Took a little chip in their success in their warrior days. That's why they say the Kiowas were so ferocious. And some Okoy say they, the Kiowas are not known for anything except for being the, the tribe who killed the most white people. <laughs> well, they're making and fun of us, so that. that's not true. There's so many things that we can eat that we're noted for. And Ope Senai, or Ope Okoy, is uh, you know Mexican, and I was emphasizing that because y'all know I used to say um, white meated people and red meated people. It's a proper way. These older people use that quite a bit. Gitai dog and Gigul dog. They didn't say tokoy or op tokoy. Uh, that's a Mexican race, and that's a mountain mules. Mountain mules, mountain donkeys. So that makes a point right there when you hear them say something. And that's a good guide to the bears of these people that went before us. They were the best that we were able to hear. Just wanted to make a statement, Melody. This proper oh. way. Mm -hmm. Oh. -ho. Um. Do we? Okay, so we could do a couple things. We could try, listen to the prayer again and try to translate it or transcribe it. Um. Or we could go to the speaker after uh, Mr. Toibo. What do y'all prefer? Melody, what number is this program? It's number 241. 241, okay. I got on here late, so I'm just listening to all you're talking. I saw you <laughs> hear what he said. Yeah. Yeah, we. Uh, we decided to try to continue translating uh, the Kiowa Proverbs. Oh, Proverbs, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because uh, remember we, uh, in December, we got through Mr. Toibo's speech. He was the first speaker, but there's still several speakers after him. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 
So my question is, uh, would everyone prefer to try to translate Guy Tampi's uh, prayer or should we go to the speak the second speaker and translate that? What would y'all they are all so pretty. Who's the second speaker? Uh, let's see. I I'd like to. to. You want to hear the second speaker? I like to. Who's the second speaker? Doesn't matter. Uh, let's yeah. see. Yeah. I'm look at. I'm trying to find my notes really quick. Unless Courtney or Alice, Ann, if unless you have some notes. Um, oh, it doesn't matter, but I have to a short to, uh, chain fame, but in later life, Kai was called him Guy T. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> of course, everybody we give everybody a nickname. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's see who the second speaker is. Let's see this one. Uh, I'm gonna press play. We'll see who it is. Oh, oh, yo. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Toybo finishing up his speech. I know, yeah, he all day. Does anyone recognize that speaker? Here, I'll play it. Let me start it over. Ah, quite con odd out the agi, that I con day don't ye to bounty. Can't go good, don't get the old bean, that dog up a good don't have the slug at Dover. I ought to kick it out and get con odd, a dog a cotola top of the lacon hanker, don't acquire the petal sand, that does not take your caddock. Got all hand done, but that is the quick on their day, all hard of the cat, don't I know bean, the old so. On the M. Goot, no tain the poor young gain to sign the way on the gate, thought on the kick. On the air to get out on a poor young bat, oh, come, come, they go good, they talk, don't get so get up, but keep a geek or get up at them, pan, pan, and cook all them kick. Pan gulda, I get pay pan gulda, I think I tell it, tell you, I do them cook, chop, pick it out them. Pan Gulda get oam a pine got oa get oam a oa cone of oyo cow hint of the hunt a kick on the garment. Pay up or don't they get gum a bean that I can know. They are the key no anchor, a doggy cup with a lank at the kick cut down with anti cossa, the key a god I can know and kick come on. On that the so get cock can a cock or dog goose not the cank or sign that doggy cook it. Come in, don't but hike over bow, can't they suck up at it? No beat, I don't want to shunt or it's a long time to say, and on the cup is all time cut to them, shun it to cook. Don't get so long, get on out the key, get out the coin, cut to sell the tea, or can't they get to suck the key, I got a cock a yonk. Ten dollars, it's a mono, can't they get my more a pound, they kept all your dad, they might look. I get up at a couple of long takes and no, I could be the ducky cut. A yawk at a good that on a high eight tail tie at Tom Tocolonte, the socket ain't about more going to go a can of sound. Thank you, not the argy. I leave that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Who was that? Anyone recognize the speaker? He used Salt de Kiaga several times and Goo two times, Goo Tonto 
is advised. Mm -hmm. Good don't talk. And he said, but more good. The advice is to tell somebody to leave bad habits, I guess, alone. But more good. And then it's good don't talk. They use that quite a bit. And you say, you tell the youngsters, you don't, uh, they tell us, you don't know, they know things better, the ones that came behind us. So I imagine it's the same way as parts of our lives are now. We take advice from the younger ones. Sometimes it's, it's almost like mandatory. You want to do something and they'll talk you out of it by just a couple of and you know that you want to do what you want to do. It's my big problem getting up to old age. And I know what's better for myself. Oh. But, and that advice, we hear that all the time. That's what his talk was about. Sotte they like to say that, the ones that are growing up behind us. Sotte is new. Iaga is growing up. The new one's coming behind us. What he's saying is they, they think they know it all, and then so do we. <laughs> or me, for one, I can talk for me. I'm hard-headed, especially when I know I'm right. And it's a stubbornness, but it's we're human. That was a good one. Oh, let's see. Uh, Miss Marion, would you like to comment? Um, <clears throat> no, I agree with what, excuse me, what she said. And um, um, he says they're gathered to talk, speak to me. That's what their meeting is about. <laughs> and um, H -O -A, he says some people don't hear or know the words. That's what I'm getting at. And that's the reason why they're, you know, putting down information. But um, for the younger ones to learn. But I think those these last these two prayers, if they were if we studied both of their words from each one, that would be a good thing. Because they both this fellow used a lot of good words too. Oh, uh, let's see, Grandma Martha. Okay, um, I didn't get a whole, I didn't pick a whole out of it, but I think what Dorothy addressed it pretty well that of what he was talking about, and it kind of sounded like maybe saying that you know the um, elder people uh, were uh, giving advice to the younger one. Uh, means talking wisely to them, you know, giving them scoop. And then he said, it sounded like he was saying they kind of give them warning words, you know, about certain things to look out for. Like he was even talking about Pong Google Doll. Like if it's a red evening, you know, the weather's going to be different. But he said, it sounded like the young people were doing their own thing. <laughs> and he said the elders were stingy. It sounded like they were stingy with what they, they their information or their, um, I guess, knowledge. But he sounded like he was kind of saying that the young people were not really uh, taking it all in. That's what it sounds like to me. Thought that Iago, those new ones mm -hmm. that are behind us. And it's kind of And I think he met up, Marty. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, would you like to listen to it again? And we'll see if we can uh, try to transcribe it and write yeah. it down. Yeah, we could do. Try to do that. He had a lot of good words in there. 
All right, let's see. Okay, let me uh, share my screen again. All right, let me rewind it. See, I think it was at eight minutes. Okay. Uh, cool. Who was that? Did it ever? Yeah, who was that? Man? It, it doesn't say. Um, they, they never announce who, who it is. They just kind of pass the tape recorder over. So we'll have to, uh, I don't know, guess who it is, I guess, or something. Okay. Okay. Okay, what's his first? He said, I'm a coat. I'm a coat. The second word is what? Let me go back like five seconds. Wait a second. Oh, yo, I know. Yeah, yo, day. I went too far. Okay. I put it on. And he all day. I quite or not, I can day don't eat the Okay. What do you say? I <laughs> Inga. Mm -hmm. And now we're, now we're going to talk about something, is what he said. I can't hear all day. Yeah. all day. What's that? I don't know. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. What? Oh, that was Luke. That was Luke, that first part, but now she's starting on the prayer. It's the a, it's a second speaker after Mr. Yeah. Toybo. Yeah. Um, so let me try to go back like a few seconds and let's see. It was the beginning of the other one. Only one I know is my brother-in-law, Yale. <laughs> <laughs> is this uh this is does it sound like james silverhorn no i don't think so jay silverhorn okay. big boys i think the one before was uh mr toybo mm -hmm. oh he says uh co ega he something was, is that his name he's trying to see? His he, say? Yeah, he all day. Yeah, he is fellow man. And all day uh, means favorite one. Yeah, so maybe it's means a special man or something. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, I would oh, say. okay. That, that's okay. Louis. That's Louis. That's Louis. Here's who, uh, I think this is who he announced at first that was in when, before praying or let's see, Lloyd to Toibo, Jasper Sankadota, Yell Spottenberg, Guy Tampy, Margaret Dancall, Isabel Tuhatchet is who I think they named off being there. Somebody was sick and that was in his prayer. Was, and it was, um, I don't remember. Is this a, uh, so it's either that yeah. same people. Who is the other ones, the other men? Jasper Sankadota mm -hmm. and Yell Spottedberg, Guy Tampy, Lloyd to Toybo. Okay, so it's either one of those other three Guy Tampy, Jasper Sankadota, or uh, James, or uh, Yale Spottedberg. Do you think that's this is Jasper? Maybe Jasper, because Yale's got a different uh, kind of name. I know. Okay. Any uh, Boa, something like that. They like that. 
Okay, let's see here. All right, so uh, let me, where are we at here? So I'm trying to write it to transcribe it. So, um, Gasper was the age of my brothers. Oh. Okay, let's see if you can uh, repeat what he says. I like that expression, don't ye don't. You can touch on some words. <laughs> yeah, we're going to touch on some words. <laughs> ye da means to touch something. Don't ye da. So this is Anko Anga. So now we're going to touch on hey, don't ye do we're gonna touch on words. Oh, oh so a big subject, maybe. So he just saying touch on it. So he's gonna tell you a little bit about it. And then is that his name he is says? I think so. A da or something like that. A da. That's what he said. I don't recognize the voice at all. So. I think he said, oh, cool. uh, go I, go. I, don't. I thought he meant that's just me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go on, I don't argue. I don't eat But he says it at the end, too, I think. Well, it sounds like that name. He says it at the very end, too. Yeah. Okay, let's see. He talks kind of fast. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it might take a minute. Let's see. I'll have to listen to it a million times. Ah, okay. Ah, come on, come on, come on, I can't type as fast as uh, he's talking. <laughs> uh, I know elders are being, you know. <laughs> yeah, right after that, he said, being a dog. It's the that's what we are, but being don't really explain means big ones. <laughs> be the, yeah. <laughs> okay. The elder, elder, elder. And being, they say when something's extra big, you know. <laughs> Like it makes it extra bigger if you say bean. <laughs> oh, good toy. <laughs> Way over there. Way over there. Way over there. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. <laughs> Couldn't be that far. In. <laughs> or they'll say, we turned west and we went towards. I used to say that. We went toward Denver. We went towards Denver. Y'all get that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> when I was learning how to speak English, I used to say torch. <laughs> <laughs> torch it all. <laughs> <laughs> I had a time with purple. Mm. But I found out in later years, Kiowa didn't touch on ours too much. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You remember I told you one time, Honda bubble gum. <laughs> oh. <laughs> when they take glue, it uh, was like bubble gum. How did they know there was bubble gum going to be made later? Not into that pink rush. I said, I'm going to have to take that. Or I'll say we got the word gum from Indians when something's sticky. Yeah, call say da. But then when we were naming gum, we call it call. 
Yeah. It was vice versa. We got we got the name gum from the Kiowa word sticky. Yeah. That's awesome. Sticky. I like that. Because we didn't know what they didn't know what gum was a long time ago. Mm. <laughs> oh. Did they call it pink gum or pink sticky or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. Hey God, I'll say though, you know, if you mess with something and you get all yeah, but your hands are all messed. Tie your data. I spilled it on myself. <laughs> Little sentences like that are more important to our daily living. Mm -hmm. Oh y'all remember, I know y'all do the expression when they got hurt. They'd say, ha! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you accidentally mm -hmm. hit yourself mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. The other oh. night I was asking, ask who I was, what did I do? I said, I fought a fitted sheet for about two hours till my daughter came. Oh, get, get two sides on and I get on the other side and they come loose. <laughs> I even prayed and I stood here. And darn when I pulled it, I hit myself. My hand slipped and I popped myself on a, a chest. I just gave up. <laughs> when y'all reach that time in your age, y'all think of me. <laughs> <laughs> and she got my bed made in no time. Oh, that's awesome. Um, okay, let me let me play let me play uh this speaker again and we think it's uh Jasper Sankadota, right? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um I'm thinking we'll uh come back to him to to try to transcribe it because I think I have to like mess with the recording to kind of slow it down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um so I have to kind of splice it out, but I'll work on that later, but I think if we play it and then we can hear um, everyone's uh, commentary, that would be really helpful to us learners too. Yeah. So, okay, awesome. And so listen for those words you want us to, to you know, focus on. So I'll play, I'll play this, uh, this speaker all the way through. I think he talks for a couple minutes, so. Ah, cool. Uh, on the M. Goot, no tender for young gain to sign the way on the gate, thought the Naki. On the to get out on a poem, but on Grand Grand Day, we goot that I got don't get so get up. Keep a gig or get up at a pan panem cook or them get pan gould or a get pay pan gould or the cat had it. Talia tado them could chop pick it out them. And gold, I get oam, a pine got oam, get oam, all count of coyo cow hint of the on the kick on the gamut. Pay up or don't take a comb, be that I can know. Ell the key no anchor, dog kick up with a lanky, the kick of tongue and on kick us up, the key I got the conon, kick come on. On the place of get cock in a con, could dog goose not take a sign, that dog kick up. Come in, don't but hike of a bow, can't they suck up at it? No beat, I don't want to shunt or it's a long time to say, and I want to go with all them, got to them, shun it to cook. Don't get so long, get on out the key, get out the coin, got to sell the tail, can't they get to suck the key, I got a cock a yonk. Then, though, let's a monarch, can't they get my more a pound, they get all your dog, they might go. Kemaa haikidokka, kopalonta ja kettanoiko biinteet, toki kai 
He said the youngsters didn't have a hand. Yeah, they had no ears. <laughs> no ears. <laughs> <laughs> he said they try to do they try to decide things on their own and they don't know. They got no ears. Did you say that? Oh, oh, hey, doll. Oh, hey, doll. Yeah, no ears. They have no ears. They can't hear you. Oh, hey, doll. Yeah. And you could give give one of your of my grandkids that name. One of mine too. Hey, oh, hey. Oh, hey, doll. And he said, Oh, I'm go how you get home. They do things the way they want to. Oh, mm go. -hmm. You say, Uh, oh, go how you get home. Or they do what they want to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, um, I think I'll name it. Did he say, Oh, I'll get all. Is that what he said? I see. Okay. Oh, go on, they get home. Okay. They do what they want to. He must have grandkids like me. Mm -hmm. They do their own thing. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I, love no. I think that could refer that could refer to today too with our with our language and the history, people are just doing their thing without knowing really what it is, the correct way. Oh. Right. Can you, uh, Miss Marion, what was the phrase that you're referring to? When they just said they do it their own way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. On um, one that north in part that was just pronounced. Yeah. Oh, the heart. Get on. Okay. Even oh. out. Even out. Hi. Well, that's what they. That's what I'll say. Hi, gay. <laughs> 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 We're hiding if it is. Even our Chegun are like that. They don't want to listen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm on the porch and they know how to cut themselves loose. <laughs> oh gosh. Everyone on the bars got Oh. Oh, go high about um. That means it's a stern um, sentence. Oh, go higher, but um, do what you want to. And see what happens. Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's yourself. Yeah. Or you could say that to your companion <laughs> and then run. Higher, <laughs> but um, see what you can do. And then you just say, aim away, aim away, after it turns out bad. That's right. Aim away, <laughs> On uh, Facebook, I seen something. It said, uh, if a door opens and then closes by itself in your house, you should run because your house is haunted. 
<laughs> what we think it's a, uh, something, oh my goodness, Kiowa can be silly. It can be funny. <laughs> Just by expression. And they can hurt your feelings by saying Honda call on or yo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, or when they look at you and say it longer, yo. <laughs> yo. That's scary. Yo. It's cute. I like those braids on you. Mm -hmm. oh. I didn't see yo. Somebody is hit. At what dance in the future? Your holder. Um, Courtney is my husband. Uh huh. I've seen that. He's, um, it's a graduation dance for the um the Kiowa Taipei Princess. Yeah. Here and more. Uh, Aubrey Berry. Yeah, I've seen that. I went to the War Mother's uh, festivities last night, yesterday. Turn your sound up, Melody. Melody. Monday. You can't hear. I can hear you. I was talking to Courtney. <laughs> oh, were you waiting for Courtney? I was talking to her and then okay. the sound went up. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I think she's unmuted now. Yes, Sunday. Yeah. <clears throat> Grandma Dorothy, did you have a question for Courtney? I can hear you now. Okay, all right, awesome. Okay, should I go to the uh, next speaker? Are you ready to go to the next speaker? Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see. Let's see who it is. But all don't get on the higher, Kakum that go get I get all the Dot take the Ogo no back ei. The no alopa on the air. Ego, my dot Oga gear, don't on Santo. And contos and my poor kid, em tom kit on them dot or. Don't get it, don't get it. A good tom kit or elegonim, oh, had or sat down a day more come go. Ego, ya come, what I had the key coop, ego, get more time, don't know get. God, it dog, one go coop more time, gene. I can't go have I oot or by shandy. No, I live to get high, get then go, ya come that more do them got. Have I here? No, I'll put a good old boy dog or tie a tom key to buy tongue go get bored at a gun em cobb with cook don't em to 
covers a lot um, just that one word it's when something is precious to you or you uh, something that does your life good or this is my precious person or my friend or your anything that you have that's dear to you Mokuime. how would y'all do that uh, marty um Sounds yeah. like when I hear that, it always sounds like you're talking about the value of somebody and yeah. useful, like useful. You're going to be useful to somebody. Yeah. Oh, we may. Kind of valued. And then she says, oh, he. That can be like something that I like, that looks alike. Oh, he. Oh. And then it can also mean cedar. Uh-huh. It's just how you use it. And that's where the tricky part is, where the little word can mean three things. It's just the inflection and it's the way you say it. Oh. And she spoke some real pretty words mm -hmm. that could be put into. <laughs> Don't I go. Don't mm -hmm. I go? Don't is talking and fighting is I go. Fighting. That's when you have a discussion or argument or a fuss. Mm -hmm. It's don't I go. That's a real subtle way of putting a riot. <laughs> no, it's just when you fight with words. <laughs> it's fighting with words. It's just fighting a, with words. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't I go. They mm -hmm. were having a disagreement. They were fighting with words. Don't I go. Mm -hmm. Don't I go. Yeah, I go. I go. I go. When you're I actually go. fighting. 
Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not on there because my hair is all the same. <laughs> I name don't pie. I go, I say it'll be. It's when you're afraid to go somewhere, I said. Mm -hmm. They like to bus. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> you're not saying that's, that's the name. That's a tribal council. Meeting. <laughs> <laughs> or how would you say, me ain't hold them. God, that's going to the extremes. Almost kill me when somebody gives you heck. Yes. That's just a Dorothy, that's just a Dorothy word. <laughs> and what about they chase me off? I told them, Ali. <laughs> I got it out of there before they chased me off. But she talks elegant, Kyle, with that lady. Isabel. That was Isabel too, Hatchet? Yeah. I thought that was Hazel. Okay. Look at it. I think it's Isabel. There's ways that she was taught to avoid confrontations but she said it's so pretty or some of the rugged ones we just go right to the, the subject <laughs> oh yeah uh -huh. I see. I see. Like melody was it isabel uh hanya hi god they don't <laughs> announce it afterwards so We'll have to listen to the other speakers and see who. Okay. It just it says is. that I think when from when he announced it, if I didn't miss anyone, um, Margaret Dane Call and Isabel Two Hatchet was who was there. Oh, okay. So it's one of them. Margaret. And and his mm -hmm. I've quoted her so many times, you know, and I. Oh. Um, okay, well, uh, Grandma Dorothy, uh, Miss Marion, do you want to add and comment? Uh, what else do you guys uh, remember? Yeah, but... uh, the graceful way she said, don't buy mm -hmm. uh, um, mm -hmm. a confrontation, but really it's with words. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go ahead, Miss Marion. There was the one word where she said, I'll oh, say a, a toy day talk. And this was after she said, when people speak cruelly, that you have to be careful because that she was using the word for arrow. It'll turn around and come back at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds like karma. And then she said, boy, key day. And don't think oh, if somebody tells you something, she says, do not, what she's saying is do not talk back. Mm -hmm. Well, gide, gide means toward you. Well, mm -hmm. gide, and don't think, and don't think, oh. Yeah, mm -hmm. gide, she said, it's, it's bad. It's no, no good. But that's a real pretty way to put it. Like if you told me something, I won't, I won't say anything back. Don't say anything before you are told. Oh, finish. Oh, it's a nice way of telling your children for Gide. But I don't, that means don't confront anybody. That's too, I'm just saying that. It's like if your children are dancing or something and they're emulating a, a, a shield dance or something, they go, they go toward each other. That's when you're emulating somebody having a con confrontation. Gide, cope, ha, fatal, 
It's a that's a word in so war medicine. When they ran over, when they ran toward the enemy and didn't take pity, honey me up. Just saw me. Mm -hmm. And Aww. if you you girls like Indian music, the ones of you that dance, mm -hmm. you can get a lot of pretty words out of some of those with the words in them. Oh. I danced last night and holding on to a chair and oh that felt good. Awesome. Dance when you can. Oh, um, Miss Marion, did you have any other comments? Um, no, I think just using different words like get get good get good to and good morning, which of course is learning from the books. And get going, yeah. And um, there's just just a lot of different words that she used, which are good. So I just agree with Martha and Dorothy. Mm -hmm. It's a study of words, too. So there's three different prayers so far, or speakings, presentations, where the words could be look that listen to oh um, melody one day i might add as a postscript this is a peyote song but when you're getting doctored and they're singing it they say that double o word again and that means you get well and you'll get up and that how much that has to do with our old Kiowa just fascinates me the goo oh could be your ribs you're getting well coo kelly goose done but we had use of that double it's just the little word we put with it that makes the meaning I don't know if y'all can understand where I'm coming from, but oh. probably only me understands my crazy brain. Would you count goo pail in there? No. <laughs> goo, goo soul. It, it seems a uh, goo yo, it's meaning you're Longhorn Long 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 Mountain is goo king. Mm -hmm. Long -born. That's where you get your your uh, cedar mm -hmm. or he mm -hmm. oh. I think what I do is I add confusion to talk so you'll go ahead I'm gonna comb my hair <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you grandma Dorothy <laughs> that's awesome uh let's see grandma Martha do you want to add anything not really I think they covered a lot of those words in there um, um, I know when she first started out, she was uh, given it a time frame and she said, um, Toga, which kind of means yeah. long ago, long ago, way before I died. Toga, way back when. Um, anyway, they pretty much covered it. Toga, Toga, Ga, Gadome, Naakide, Goiga. Yeah. Once upon a time, the Kaiwas were camping. Mm -hmm. The other one is eight bale Akide. Oh, I can just see that. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. oh, let's see here. Okay. Um, let's see. 
All right. Um, okay, so my uh, computer is is dying. My battery's going low. Okay, I don't have my plugger with the me. Word. Um, hey. Monday. Go ahead, Miss Marion. Miss Marion, did you want to add oh, something? I just said the word a. There was there was a word a a bail i day, which means like thinking about something or a uh, memory of something. Bail i. Yes, bail though. That was another word. You know, when she was speaking. Yes, bail yeah. though. And what about this? I want the young younger ladies to hear this. When everybody leaves you, when they all go someplace, or if you got left as a child at home for the afternoon or something, you say, I pay today, I guess. Don't have to charge. It means they left me here to die. <laughs> I pay today. I pay today, and I'm sitting myself. and. They let they all left when they, they don't care if I die. <laughs> That's a Kyle in it. It's a, <laughs> sort of like a, used as a joke. They mm -hmm. all went to place. They pay to date me. <laughs> and that's what I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. Pay to date, yeah. 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 That's when you uh, leave your kids at home. I pay to date. <laughs> My mother thought it was scandalous when the neighbors left. That's her. right. Hey, that's cute. Those little things. <laughs> that is. That's awesome. Musical sound. Yeah. And now our children are growing up, and they can do that to us. <laughs> Be careful, it'll turn around on you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll be sitting in a nursing home. <laughs> oh, God. You start, you start getting those feelings. Of it. I'll be trying to teach them. <laughs> I just got through talking to Luann for about, a, about an hour. We already cut out a black legging's cape. <laughs> That's awesome. We had a pet cat. We had a pet cat. That cat never wants to go with us in the car. And so that's what I call her. Fate told her. If they told it. And we do, we do have a saying, you know how Gita and all go have a dance and they say, come on, break a leg. <laughs> oh, yeah. The guy was have a, you go to where they're sitting if they're not dancing. And you make four steps in front of them. And you say, come on. <clears throat> Motto de Atem. And it says, come on, break a leg. <laughs> and they're supposed to pay you if they won't get up and dance. <laughs> and you could say, I like that drag that you have on, or I like your belt. The old custom. And I'm on talk. Uh, that's what it means. When you step four times in time to the music, that means get up and dance. You can make a stance right in front of them, in tune to the music, and step four times. Dixon used to do that. If you were just sitting there looking sad. <laughs> Those Valentine's dances are cute. I went to one. 
I like that potato dance. I never did see it before. I wouldn't have lasted five minutes. <laughs> See there, that's where the little word comes in. They're doing things their way. And the potato dance is the IPA, Gunga. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wave back behind you, but I don't know if you could see me. I don't think. The only one I see on the screen is uh, is Courtney Paul <laughs> and her cute little husband. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Well, uh, my computer's my battery's getting low. I got to. Uh, I don't have my plugger with me, so I think we'll. Uh, stop there for today. It's almost five o'clock. Um, so we can uh, pick this back up and uh, listen to the next speaker uh, next week. Um, so let's see for our closing. Well, first off, before we close up, does anyone have any other questions or comments? Hey. I put the link in the box melody for that. Um, oh, I think, hold on, I'm sorry. There's a link I'm gonna put in the chat box, everyone. It's about the pregame for the Super Bowl and um, sign language, plain sign language being um, used. And Dane is featured in the article. Okay, let's uh let me let me share my screen so we can see this. Uh real quick. Let's see. I went in the kitchen while I go and I asked my son, I said, Are they still playing Super Bowl? Super Bowl. <laughs> Didn't know it was Super Bowl. <laughs> I got Okay, better. look look at this. Native American Sign Language arrives at the Super Bowl. A signed performance of America the Beautiful will feature Native American Sign Language. Hey, look, who's that? <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Let's see, I'm gonna I scroll down. Him, yeah. As Dane. Dane. Is that Dane Pula? Yes. Oh. <laughs> He's demonstrating Kiowa Sign Language. Let me scroll down so you can see the article. So click on that link if you want to, you can read it. Um, it says Super Bowl pregame show on Sunday. Have a performance of America the Beautiful, which will be told through Native American Sign Language. Colin Denny, a deaf Navajo man, will be using both American Sign Language and Plains Indian Sign Language. That is very cool. It's a long article, too. <laughs> yeah, they, okay, so what, I guess what they do is, uh, so what it says, the Washington Post asks other experts to explain the similarities and differences between Native American Sign Language and American Sign Language. And it says, Dane Pula, Kiowa tribe, agree to demonstrate signs in Kiowa Sign Language, a dialect of Plains Indian Sign Language. And so here's girl. And there's Dane. And there's the American Sign Language sign. I've got a deaf daughter, so I'd be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> And then let's see what else. Okay, tobacco. So it says. So the girl over here is demonstrating American Sign Language, mm -hmm. ASL. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay, here's dog. Can you see it? Can you see the little pictures moving? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Oh. 
my 15 month old grandchild already knows how to say more when he's eating. He knows how to do <laughs> shoes from his deaf, grand, um, deaf auntie. Oh, that's awesome. You know, when he's eating, he'll get the sign for more. You know. <laughs> they learn really fast. The little kids, man, they pick it up real fast. And shoes and uh, your eyes. And then hunger. Good, good for you, Dane. I'm the only. There it is. That's so awesome. That's amazing. That's a really cool. Hey, got me tall. Hey, got me tall. Him. Oh. That doesn't look like Dan. I've been around him all his life, and I just didn't recognize. I think it's because he has his. Uh, he's uh, looking. He has to. He's focusing on the sign, so he's sitting real still. Okay, this is, uh, I guess, rye bread. My dad used to sign with the Comanche man, Albert Atakani and Knox Takawana and the yellowfish. He's cooking bread. <laughs> Moon. Well, that's interesting. The signs for Moon are very similar. That's really cool. And then it talks about pre preserving Native American sign languages. And it keeps on going. And that's the end of the article. Mm -hmm. So I guess we better tune in to the pregame show at the <laughs> see what you're talking Super about. Bowl. <laughs> we can see it. Am I muted? No. Oh, oh. Hi, Grandma D. Melody. Uh, who? Was I muted, Melody? Um, ha, oh, but we can hear you now. I like that. It's musical again. Uh oh, Grandma D. Uh, we can't. We can hear that you're talking, but we can't make out any words. I think the audio's cutting in and out. Oh, well, that's all right. Didn't have anything to say anyway. <laughs> Do sign language. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Go ahead. Turn me off. Oh, ho. well, thank you, Courtney, for sharing that. That's awesome. Good, good find. Good find. Thank okay. you very much. I enjoyed oh. it. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Um, let's see. Uh, hey, uh, Courtney. Bay dot side to close us up. Da Pama and Ari Aho Daki Kitage Daki. And a tide o day get the data. A e can fail. Oh, all right. Well, have a fun Super Bowl watching party, whoever's watching it. <laughs> Do you mean the Super Bowl? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the Supper Bowl. <laughs> Throw me out of the kitchen if I go in there. <laughs> well, have fun. Uh, we'll see you next time. Um, Hega ba oi, don't hide the Hega ba oi, don't the Hega ba oi, don't the.
Goat day day, but go bonto. I get it, get to John. 